Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to Critical Misses. We are back with Mask Advanced Studies. I am Pope, your humble narrator, but we'll get into recaps and many other things. But first and foremost, let's let's go meet our fantastic fellow storytellers. Um, first up, Kayla, how you doing? I'm doing just fine. Hey, everybody. I'm Kayla Bel Belmont, and I'm going to be playing Strider, the protege. Uh, and along with Strider in very strange confines is Loki, played by Faye. How are you doing, Faye? Hi, I'm good. I just woke up from a nap, and I'm going to be playing Loki. And we need to, we need help. <laughs> we need we might need a hero. Or twelve. Need um, a hero. <laughs> that was all and, I could think of. <laughs> and on that note, hey Layla, how you doing? Hi, I'm doing good. I am playing Starla Delara, aka the Mark. And I'm playing the playbook The Reform. So it's gonna get like dramatic. And I'm excited about it. Oh, there's there's a lot of things to be excited about. There's a lot of strange going on. Um, as our our heroes have have been through a bit of a ringer. The world, in fact, has been through a bit of a ringer. Uh, most of the heroes are out and about dealing with some sort of multiversal threat, uh, leaving our young heroes to try and pick up the slack in the empire state whilst balancing you know going to university at the same time there's a serial kidnapper on the loose that may or may not have time manipulation powers um a doomsday device has been absconded with well several of those a time shifting device may have been unnecessarily activated and shifted through dimensions and now is wreaking havoc on space time continuum. And uh, they went to House of Secrets, a place that has ties to multiple dimensions, times, etc. And now they find themselves in Avalon, of all places. The realm of the Fae. And alongside them, there is a significantly sized possum, anthropomorphized, about the size of the large, largest Stave Puff Marshmallow Man, just rampaging around the countryside. Because that's something that needs to happen. And so as we turn the cover on this issue uh we we zoom in on a rather pleasant glade of all things uh, which currently contains our heroes and you can affect what happens to our heroes here on uh, Critical Misses with your delicious channel points. Uh, those things like the hydrate, which Darby, we will be doing. Um, you can do plus one weapon, which gives them a plus one forward. Uh, you can do a uh, plus two magic item, which gives them MacGuffin. All MacGuffins in my games are cursed. Enjoy. Um, you can do name generator, which all of a sudden, hey, I'll get to have a, a NPC show up of import. And then more drop, which all of a sudden, yeah, we kind of zoom in, zoom out with the greater goings on within the comic book storyline. So feel free to use those delicious channel points and cause merry havoc or help our heroes so with that let's what's going through loki's mind right now have you ever seen a randy felt face 
comedy. There's a part where he talks about after um, becoming sober and the feeling you get when you get pulled over for random like alcohol checks and it's just I'm fucked, 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 I'm fucked. Just on repeat. <laughs> That's about it for Loki. <laughs> Strider, what's going through your mind at this point? Um. <clears throat> okay, so we're in a new place. It's a giant awesome and a queen over here. Um, Somewhere. Somewhere. I, I think... Strider in this like instance is going through 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 his head because I think I think he's been reading the fuck 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 sorry the files on this place. Okay, let's see how that roll goes. Here we go. Hit. Okay. Good. Um, yeah. Important detail about this place. Um, I mean, for me, I know that Avalon is the resting place of Arthur. Um, he was taken there by Mor Morgan. Um, I mean, it's also the Fey Realm, as, as far as we can tell. I think it's very idyllic and winter doesn't come here i think is the detail i've learned yeah no it, the, the winter is different here instead of gotcha. you know instead of it being partially cold having ice and snow it is a time of clear skies time that is damp but not frigid and, and so the place is is this delightful green. And yeah, it is the resting place of Arthur, but it is also a resting place of many other things of multiple mystical traditions and holds the court of the Summer Fae, which includes Oberon and Titania, to Arch Fae big heavy mystical kippers that are best kept here as opposed to unleashed upon the multiverse uh that's not necessarily something that they advertise in the brochure but it's definitely here and so yeah you you have this 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 knowledge from your studies that okay Summer Fay, Arthur, strange weather, France dimensional, strange things can happen. There's probably artifacts here of some some import and a giant possum. Okay. Hmm. Hey buddy. See, you've grown up. They grow. Up. Look, they grow. Up. They grow. Up. They grow up so so fast. Look at them. Right, Loki. Yeah, of course. They they grow up fast when you use more magic on them. And a as you're you're hollering up, it's it's more. The size is so vast that you think they're far closer than they are. Mm -hmm. No, they are quite far away, because force perspective is a hell of a drug. Uh oh. Yeah. And when you're you're here and that big, everything is force perspective. As you're now, as it's getting closer to this this castle that you see in the distance, you realize just how far away it is, and you have the castle for scale. I don't want to exaggerate but it's much like having one of those overly large stuffed pusheens and having a, a 
small castle made out of Lego. And the Pusheen still has like a number of inches above the tallest point of the castle. So, gotcha. You, you have a possum like an anthropomorphized possum like Godzilla. Oh, shit. Okay. Lucky. Um, any way you can get us out of here? I mean, we can try. Hmm. Can can we try? We'll get to that in a second. Um... Oh, God. What's going on with Starla? Well, last we left off, Starla was running, <laughs> running from an, what seemed to be an evil queen? Yes, Mab. As you went from the House of Secrets to the House of Mystery. Another one of these yeah. mystical houses, and it's it's bad time. Um, a gentleman, strangely enough, whose name is Arthur, he introduced himself as and referred to Mab as grandmother. This woman who is most definitely not natural and is most certainly more beautiful than any being has a right to be, painfully so. And you are now running through the house of mystery, trying to find, desperate to find an exit. I think if I'm going, like, what's going on in Starla's head, I think it's like, it's very emotional because they're running, right? And they've been running, it feels like, for the past, like, 24 hours. And then they realize that it feels like they've been running their entire life, especially since they left their family. And so it feels like they've been running from their past, but also almost also running from their destiny. And when you're running from your past and your future, where do you run? Like you don't have anywhere else to run. But I think in that moment, this is so dramatic, but Starla is dramatic. So um, they realize they do have a place to run. They still have one thing, something that is theirs and is also their responsibility and it's their team. And so all they're thinking about is like running to their team. And they're just like trying to find doors and like yank, trying to yank stuff open, um, but also just like so focused on that. And in this moment, because everything is a comic book, folks, I'm just getting these pictures of we're, we're, we're seeing Starla. Um, as I think the aesthetic at this point, because artists also help tell story. This feels very like late 80s um, sort of Hellblazer style of art where it's, it's, it's heavy lines and very simple colors, um, but the detail is all there. So running across like this long runner rug in a, in a hallway, opening doors that lead to different places that have just a bunch of different curios, a bedroom that then leads into like a garage that then Star was running through and leads to a library. And it's just the, this collage of Starla running about, but those are in boxes, but in her mind, we're seeing these visions of the past in bubbles. And it's just this kaleidoscope of, of, of visions of memory of places. And I want you to give me an unleash your powers. Okay, cool. So cool, go cool. ahead and roll freak. Dun, 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 dun. Submit. Uh-oh. That's a miss. And so you get the mark potential though. Yeah. 
That's true. So, just as you're, you're, you're so heavily focused, so concentrating on, on your team, you open a door and you walk through it. The thing with the House of Mystery is it's not as tied to real places as the House of Secrets is. House of Mystery is tied to power, emotion, memory. And in this moment of heightened emotion, of memory, instead of opening to your team, it opens to a memory. Starla, Please describe for us what is your most painful memory. Rough. Um. I think my most painful memory, the summary of it, and then we can, if we, we can get more into this scene, is probably the last time I saw my sister. Um. Um, she was coming to like kill me because I know too much and the corporation wants me dead. And that's when she also stole my utility belt. And that was the moment that I knew I may never be able to get through to her. What was the last thing she said to you before you escaped? I think she didn't even say that she hated me. I think she most likely said That I can run, but she knows I have nowhere to go. And so those words and that vision, that confrontation, the words themselves sway like a spiral running ever down the world. And at the bottom of that spiral of words stands in this terrible moment. Starla. You turn the page and we're back in that field. We're back in the field with Sasuke and Scott. And this strange place, this very strange moment. What are the two of you doing? What are the two of you talking about? So, I may have messed up maybe once or twice and led to most of this situation. I don't know if I can get us out. I can try. We'll try. Wait, are you talking to me? Because I thought you were doing a thing with Starla. 
No, it's just the it's just the two of you right now. Oh shit! Saskia's gotcha. talking to Scott. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, sorry, sorry, my brain. Um, um, kind of looks up at the giant possum in the the castle and is like, well, um, I I I'm not equipped to deal with that. Um. <laughs> Um, and I think anywhere than here is better than than anything. Besides, I oh god, uh, we should probably run. Actually, I'm gonna start running away now. Uh, d d don't, don't, don't run. Don't. Don't. Okay. He stops. Um. Do you think it senses a movement? Oh no! I I I just fair elm and traveling anywhere you're gonna see some shit and you don't know what's around the corner sometimes the grass will scream at you like just and... instantly looks down at the ground to make sure he's not not on grass right now yeah um this area is kind of fucky and i have an idea that it might work Knowing my ideas, it probably won't, but it's fine. Maybe. Um, this is your forte, so I trust you on this. That's your first mistake. Uh, Loki would like to try and um, do one of their magic-y things and focus on Starla to try and get them to Starla. Okay. Oh yeah, because we don't know where Starla is right now. <laughs> no. no. We think she's fine, you know. Sure. Yeah, this will work. This is great. Let's do it. Roll that dice. Roll that dice. I want. I know I'm not in this scene, but I do want everyone to know that I deeply approve of this choice. <laughs> um. <laughs> before you roll anything. Oops. <laughs> oh. oh, did you roll? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, seven oh, for burn. burn. It was just to get burn. Okay, well, you've got your burn. You you, you roll the partial, so... You, you get some. Yeah. But... You get to have market condition. What condition are you marking? Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> this is where I say, um, Loki marked conditions in the first episode and has never cleared them. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you, you have three that are open that you can mark. You have, you have, your choices are afraid, hopeless, and insecure. I'm going to go with insecure because... Okay. Yeah. That is actually the only condition they've ever cleared. Because the clearance is take full hardy action without... Con talking yeah. to your team okay so Ooh. so you're insecure now before you you do your do Ooh. that voodoo that you do so well please describe for me with your magics how are you trying to get to starla how you are focusing how you are performing this because this may not take a roll. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I have anything that Starla would have given Loki. Well, how about we have a flashback? Oh no. <laughs> Again, comic books love flashbacks. So... Let's go to a time earlier in our history before 
issue one, as it were, where Loki and Starla, um, at the very least, work together on defeating a threat. This is your chance. I am cutting you absolutely loose. This is your narrative to share to together in this moment, because this has already happened. So, the floor is yours. I we know that it's super chaotic because Strider <laughs> isn't there to contain it. So we know it's one of the most chaotic things Look, that has listen, ever happened ever. I punch things, okay? That's my thing, <laughs> all right? That's all I can do. I punch things. I feel like this is also the start of um, the interdimensional like arrow skipping. Mm -hmm. yes! Yes, 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 so, yes, yes, <laughs> The first time they do it, they don't do it with arrows. Like, Loki is sending Starla through all these portals to attack <laughs> something. And it's just, I don't know what's going on, but this is fun. And there's a bunch of portals appearing everywhere, like in, like, the Thanos fight. But we're doing it correctly. <laughs> And um, it's just a pair of them. It's like they finish, end up like. I just go like three o'clock, and then you make a portal, and I jump <laughs> through it. <laughs> I bring back like I bring back. A... Cade Possum. Wait, you cut out for a second. It came back with possum. Oh, I was like, maybe one time I brought back the possum, and that was Rocky's oh. arcade possum. <laughs> I was like, I found this. The <laughs> accidentally rescued the possum from the lab in the middle of the fight. For and sure, absolutely. Back and watch this. Yeah. I was gonna throw it at the person, but then I was like, that's probably not okay to do. Mm, yeah, I, I, I don't think he'd like that. Yes. <laughs> yes, probably not. Be free. And then the, the, the possum, just like, I set the possum free <laughs> in the city. We, we set the possum up in the alley because we saved it from these scientists. And then... So this is just the natural progression of things. We've ended up in Avalon. So can Loki use the fact that the possum's there and just be like, that's our baby. That's our fur baby. I'll allow it. But the on this note... disdain of that <laughs> I'll allow it. Uh... But on this note, there will be a roll. Mm -hmm. The if the possum actually hates y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the possum was so happy in that lab, and then we took it. <laughs> uh, he gave it pizza. I want you to roll mundane. Oh, mate. No. You want both of us to roll mundane? No. Just Loki. You have like <laughs> negative two mundane, don't you? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Every cell in my body knew it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Mark potential. Plus, wait, why is it negative three? Oh, oh shit, because I'm also insecure. Oh, oh, do you man. have a negative three mundane right now? <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, but still. I sh... wait. It still would be a four. Because I should it should have... only be a ne negative two. Uh, no, I should have a negative four. Oh, well, then oh. that would be a two. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... You know when someone's like, oh, it's Goodbye, better. everybody. And it's then been it turns out to it's know actually worse than anyone thinks. <laughs> so... I hope y'all have enjoyed the show. It'll be fun. As... As sirens blare in the background for me, um, I've got 
um, a phrase that I've been using lately. I've got news. Good news. You are no longer here. Avalon is not where you are. Further news. You find yourselves in a library. It is very eclectic. The books are are stacked high in certain places up leaning up against bookshelves that are already full. Um, furniture looks to be out of the 1970s. A lot of things with those sort of like green tinted glass. Wall sconces that have a bit of an amber hue. And it's cold. It's very, very cold. And in the not too far distance, you hear fighting. The baying of hounds. A similar set of sounds that Starla hears. Those don't sound like nice dogs. Oh, they're not nice dogs. Um, Loki, where'd you where where'd you send us? You know, I was focused on Starla. I don't know what Starla got herself in, got themselves into. Okay. okay, and this doesn't look like the library in the house of of C, of C, of C, of C, of C, of, C, of secrets, right? No, that one was far more tire packed, more inhospitable, a lot more gotcha. just supernatural superhero warning bells of do not touch. Okay, um, this place looks cluttered there's an element that seems a bit more mundane mm -hmm. but it has an eccentricity about it okay. Starla Starla trying to be quiet as they're also like where the fuck are you where the I'm fuck looking are around you? trying to find her it's like can I, since I do bow and arrow, do you think that maybe I? <laughs> no, that's too. That's too much. I'm not even gonna say it. Okay. Um. Why do I want to steal all of these books? Just. Well, let's not steal books. We don't I know. I couldn't take the books from the last library. I just want the books. Anyway, Starla. Let's, let's try and find them. Yeah. Um, Do you think those... I'm making a lot of noise since I'm running around everywhere? Or, well, actually, the last time I was in, like, a memory. Yeah. You're here and not here at the same time. I'm also definitely crying. I just want to put throw that out there. Oh, yeah. That's, that's an excellent thing to put out. Well, um, Loki, I don't know where Starl is, but those dogs do not sound like they're having a nice time. No. So we should go towards them, maybe stealthily, see if we can figure out where we are. The, the ones that sound like they're hellhounds, you want to go towards them. I was I Look, mm -hmm. they could be out after star star the star star as uh, Starla for all we know. Great, let's go get pu let's go become puppy chow. All right, I pull on my arm shields Oof. and I start to run. Why are you running? <laughs> 
<laughs> Loki follows, but does not run. <laughs> Loki's like, I don't want to run to my death. I will walk slowly. As we turn the page to what Strider and Loki are running towards. In the foyer of the House of Mystery, there is a war happening. It is a war a long time coming between the Queen of Winter herself, Mab, and her adopted, long dead, but now standing there fighting her grandson, Arthur Addison, formerly the keeper of the House of Mystery, formerly the protege of Julian of the House of Secrets, and the current ferryman for conclusion, you know, the thing that's even more certain than death. He is calling upon what few powers he still has against the full might of the Queen of Winter. Those hounds aren't hers. They're his. As death and entropy, manifestations of his own pain and anger are gnashing and keeping the magics of Mab at bay for now. Meanwhile, Mab in her fury is throwing every bit of terrible magic loose in this place of magic. There is a winter storm happening in this foyer raging winds, icicles throw, being thrown through the air. And Strider, as you come down this hallway, you see two primordial forces going toe to toe. What do you do? Okay, so I see these two fu fu fighting. Oh, yes. Can I roll, been reading the thought, the files, not to, like, say something I know about these folks, but to know who they are and what's going on? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. 13, full hit. Um, how about I put it this way? All right. Since that was above a 12, and this mm -hmm. is an extraordinary situation, yeah. I will give you two questions to ask about each of them. Okay. So, Queen Mab, um, I guess my first thing, is she a bad guy? That's hard to put a pin on. She's yeah. Her. Fay Queen of Winter. Um, can be good, can be bad. Mm -hmm. uh, esoteric depends on if you're on her good side or not. Um, but unlike certain Fae that play it being, you know, courtly, mm -hmm. she does it from time to time because she's Fae. She That's has right. far less qualms. That's right. Murder is always an option. Okay. Gotcha. So not exactly a nice person, but not always, you know, the bad guy. Okay. Um, second question for her, I guess, is what is something that, like, gosh, I'm trying to think without just, like, just sidelining whatever this is. Um, does she have like a weakness that I know I know I know about? There's not too many weaknesses known about the Fae. Okay. The the things that you this is more universal. Cold iron hurts them. 
Gotcha. Flat out. That's that's the first thing. And two, mm-hmm. if they make an agreement to something, mm-hmm. they have to uphold it by the word, not the spirit. Gotcha. And so for the other guy, is he a good guy? Or is he one of those, like, kind of sometimes? In his life, he was mostly good. Okay. Um, had had some very gray moments from. T- he had a Jason Todd arc. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 All right. Things were good between him and Julian. Then they weren't. Then went sort of dark side and mm-hmm. found a new mentor in a succubus. Um. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Then died. Mm-hmm. Got better. Um, then died again. Gotcha. And now is this. <laughs> okay. And I assume he hates Queen Matt, right? They have a storied history mm-hmm. as the two actually for a while had a very loving devotion to one another, almost familial. Um, and then the second time he died, she manipulated someone close to him. Gotcha. And she hasn't been seen since. Gotcha. So they're both kind of pieces of work sometimes. Okay. Yes. All right. He's going to look at this. He's going to think about just her turning the other way. And just being like, nope, but... I think he's frustrated at this point with all this magical nonsense, and I would like to provoke them to stop fighting. Go on. Okay. Um, with the provoke someone move, and I would like to say, just like, you know, if you keep this up, the resale val- val- value on this place is going to go down the tank. Go ahead and roll that provoke. Okay. It's probably not going to do well, guys. You never know. Oh, shit. Full hit. What? I have news. Mm -hmm. They stopped fighting. They both look at you. Mab Mm -hmm. looks like you just hurled an insult at her during dinner. <laughs> yeah. And Arthur just looks at you at like, dear God, in the name of all that is holy, run for your fucking life. Just scrawl across his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like. So, um, sorry to uh to interrupt y'all. Um I'm sure you'll have some things. Queen Mab, nice to meet you. Um, I'm Strider. Um, And what's the other guy's name? At this point, you would know him as the Ferryman. Okay. Uh, Fair, 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 Ferryman. Nice to meet you, too. Um, Sorry, didn't mean to... Well, yes, I didn't mean to interrupt this, but just because I have a question. Um, Do you know where... I'm looking for a, for a friend of mine. Um, goes by the mark. Um, I don't suppose you two know where they are. There is a pregnant pause. I'm going to roll the set happy sad die to see what happens next. Yeah. In this I, natural pause. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's not natural anymore. Fuck. Um, I just wanted to say I think it's hilarious that you interrupted an entire war to ask for directions. That's my favorite <laughs> thing. Listen, I think I'm taking a book, uh, uh, a page out of y'all's book, and just, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it and s- see what happens. I rolled Fuck the- around and find out. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> This die has many faces. Okay. 
two of them are happy. One is indifferent. Two of them are sad. And there is one angry face. Oh, uh -huh. you rolled angry, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Oh, God. Oh, Mab. Um, no, no, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Is rolled. Mab mad? Oh, <laughs> yes, but we'll get to that in a second. Be because I, I, I come from many different schools that I beg, borrow, and steal from. Hi, Sam. Hi, Prax. Um, I think the juiciest option here is as Strider, you have stopped to ask for directions in this most tense of pauses. Loki, you just show up right behind Strider. I, I was going to ask if I could do that. <laughs> yeah. So in this most tense of pauses that you're not necessarily privy as to why the sound stopped, but these two juggernauts of mystical power are now looking directly at Strider. <laughs> Loki just like walks up behind, goes, Mab, Ferryman, fuck. <laughs> Grabs Strider and is like, we're gonna go. And like pulls him and is like, we're running. Wait, what do you mean we're running? I just Run. asked a question. <laughs> Uh, and, like... and as you're being pulled away, there is a very stern command from the ferryman. Death, go. And the war starts again, but this time a black hound. Think of, think of if you took one of the hounds from Ghostbusters in size and, and musculature, but made it a black Irish wolfhound. <gasps> Just comes Love those. up, comes rushing up and bounds into you. And now you two are riding atop of this engine of destruction. Wait, um, we're riding? This, this yes! hellhound? Puppy! Yes. <laughs> um, and the two of you are barreling through the house of mystery, searching oh, Jesus. for Starla. Um, um, we'll get to you two in a moment. We turn the page. Oh, no. Starla. Yes? we have shared in your pa most painful memory. I now want to know in this dark and terrible moment, what is the one bit of hope you still have? Um, you want this in memory form as well? Because yes. I, I do have an idea of it in memory form. Um, I am... In the city, I am walking down the street and I'm doing what I normally do where I don't, I'm not paying attention to anybody else. I am doing my own thing. And then I'm walking past an arcade and it's like real, it's like, it's, it's around like maybe 3 PM whenever an arcade might open for the day. Cause I don't think most arcades are open all day. Um, and I, there's a bus stop right outside of it. And so I'm stopped waiting for the bus. And so I take some time to look around and I notice there is this old man struggling to open up the door with his keys. Cause maybe he has arthritis or something, but his hands are shaking. Um, and I may like the windows, there's a little bit of reflection back and I accidentally make eye contact with him through the window, you know, that awkward moment where you're like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. But instead of looking away, he turns around and he does something that no one has ever done before. And he asks me for help. He, he asks, can you help me? And 
I think it like really takes me aback because in the past when people have asked things of me, they haven't really asked of me. They've told me to do it. And it hasn't ever really been to help anything. Um, I mean, to help like maybe the comp, like a big plan or whatever, but not like personal, can you help me with this? And I don't know why, but I do it. And then he invites me in and he offers me food and like some water. Um, and he says, hey, if you come back to the arcade, I'll give you 10 free game credits um, for helping me out and like hanging out with me. And so I do. And I like keep coming back. And I think those are the memories that especially that first one is the one that brings me hope because I was just minding my own business and I met this man who changed my life. Very good. Thank you. And as we turn the page, we see that the two of you are astride this, this hellhound of sorts, barreling through the house of mystery. Um, it is moving faster than you can register as the scenery just is tearing by you both. I am holding on to Faye for dear life. <laughs> so it's just this train of hugs. <laughs> I, I feel like Loki is giving the, the, the dog like scratches behind the ear and it's like, you're such a good boy. Such a good boy. So, oh no, I am giving the two of you some choices. Huh? In this moment, the dog does not speak, but you know that it is talking to you. My master sent me to help you find your friend and get you out of here. There are two ways we can go about this. You can experience some form of discomfort in terms of experiencing a memory. And the doors will open and you will find them. Or the house will demand the favor of each of you, and the doors will open and we will find them. What do you choose? I don't suppose you have a preference, Mr. Hound, or Mrs. I am a servant of conclusion. I have no preference, just success. I'm I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with memory because favors and hmm, favors. No, thank you. I'm gonna go with Loki on this. I magic is not my forte, so I'm just gonna defer to them on this. <laughs> so. Loki, what is your most painful memory? Uh, Loki's most painful memory would be to do with their twin. Um, so Loki has a very mundane twin. They don't have any abilities. And when they were younger, uh, when Loki... Loki still doesn't have very great control over all of their shit. But when they were small, they had even less control because children. Um, and they were playing and accidentally caused a reality storm and injured their, um, injured their twin. And probably almost killed them. They didn't. But now it's the sort of thing like, they're 
almost too scared to talk to their twin because they're like, I'm not in control and I don't trust myself. So they cut themselves off from their family to like avoid hurting them. Strider, what is your most painful memory? I think it was that fight with the corporation. It was with the New Bloods. They had kidnapped some folks, kidnapped a kid. We couldn't let that slide, so we went after them and thought we were winning. And then he just. It's a bright flash of light. And it's blinding. And he feels himself moving, but he doesn't know where. But then it just stops as soon as it starts. And once his eyesight comes back, he's in the same place he was, but everyone's gone. It's nighttime. He doesn't know what's going on, if this is some sort of illusion or something. And he tries to use his, his, um, his communicator with the team. No one answers. And then then his mentor shows up. And she looks like she's seen, seen a ghost, and he he doesn't understand. He asks her what's going on, and she looks at him and, like, starts scanning him and eventually learns that it's been ten years. And his friends have moved on. The world has moved on. And in that, like, mo 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 that moment of disbelief and frustration, he feels his heartbreak. Because he feels like he lost his family. With those experiences of loss, we turn the page. And for the first time in some time, the three of you are back together. You are not in the house of mystery. The three of you were standing side by side outside the entrance to your base. There is an old black Ford hearse with white wall tires and red hubcaps that is down the alley that the three of you were all looking at. And in that moment where you, you're registering the car, in the back of your head, you see the hound overpose the car. And then you blink, and it's the car, and you blink again, and the car is gone. I think Starla just immediately collapses. (laughs) 
and is still crying and shaking like a hundred percent for sure from just the intensity of all the emotions that they just experienced Loki helps get the other two inside. And then it's just like, stay here. And darts off before coming back with just like their arms full of as much McSwitzerland, like McFlurries, chicken nuggets, everything they could think of. They're just like, Okay. And they like said it on the coffee table and like, we've earned this and let's not go in those houses again, please. I just want a panel of like you're like seeing Loki with with magical powers just appear inside McSwitzerland and Steve the manager who knows who you are <laughs> who is like the manager of the night shift just look looks to the new guy just just give them whatever they want it's on the house <laughs> <laughs> just like locks eyes with you and it just like says that and then walks the hell away <laughs> it's like i'm not gonna be responsible for anything and 100 percent loki has sold them out of chicken nuggets that's a lot of chicken nuggets. Yeah. That is the correct amount of chicken nuggets. In other words, um, there are five nuggy centurions. That is 500 nuggets. Not on, enough. On this on on this kit on this table, there there sits a mountain of elks. Um I think I don't know how how long does that take? Probably not very. I mean, how long does it take to cook 500 chicken nuggets? At this place, considering all the magic and agreements that have been, been sweared upon by multi-dimensional F entities, about 20 minutes between getting there, <laughs> making the order, and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Starla like looks at all the food and just, this is kind of funny, but it's not, just like buries their head in their hand and just goes, I don't deserve chicken nuggets. Loki smacks him on the back of the head. Everyone deserves chicken nuggets. No, I don't deserve chicken nuggets. Bitch, you deserve chicken nuggets. And like start oh. stuffing chicken nuggets in her face. In their face. I, 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 I just swallow them <laughs> basically whole. Um... <laughs> I don't, but I'm still crying as I do it. Like, like it's just, I'm like these chicken nuggets. I don't know if they added extra salt or if it's my tears, but they are extra salty today. <laughs> Loki looks over to Strider's like you best eat some of these nuggets. He is already like N in <laughs> and just crying. <laughs> Just soft, just soft, just soft, just soft, just soft, just soft, just silently. I'm really sorry, guys. I feel like I, I keep fucking up, and I don't. It's not your fault. You shouldn't have to be rescuing me all the time. In fairness, I caused a lot of problems. We were in Avalon for a hot minute. The possum's doing great. I turned him into the size of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. That's a problem for Avalon. I don't know what we're doing anymore. Eating chicken nuggets. I have something I have to tell you guys. And if you don't forgive me, I understand because, um, to be honest, I don't really think I deserve it. Um, 
Uh, do you you remember when I made a deal to get information about the House of Secrets? Yeah. Um, basically, um, I got in touch with a dangerous spy and I told them that I would steal things from the House of Secrets and I didn't end up getting those things so they're probably going to also be trying to kill me among the many people who are trying to kill me. Um... And, um, that means you guys are probably also in danger from that. If we weren't already in enough danger already. And, um, I don't know. I just keep thinking that I can do better, that I can be better. And then I fuck everything up anyways. And I just keep making mistakes. And I... I don't know how to... I don't... I don't know how to stop. I just wish I could stop. Sorry. Uh, Th that's why I don't deserve chicken nuggets. I don't deserve chicken nuggets. Loki grabs one of the McFlurries and just hands it to Starlin's like Is it M&M? Yeah. It's m &M. Okay. I start picking the M&Ms out. You deserve M &Ms chicken nuggets. Maybe I do and maybe I don't. I'm going to eat them anyways. And I grab a chicken nugget and I literally scoop out ice cream and I shove that into my mouth. Yes. <laughs> double, double comfort. Double comfort. And hey, I'm getting better at sending people to other dimensions on purpose. We can just send them to be the possum's new toys. He seems to want That's... to fight things. Oh, if we were going to dimension, dimensionally extract every person who wants to kill me from this plane, that'd be like at least 10 people. I don't have a problem with it. I feel like Strider might. I guess it'd be good practice. Y'all have stricter morals than me. I'm trying. Yeah. I don't think we were equipped for this, whatever this was. And he just like puts his head in his hands. It's just like I thought it could lead a team again I I don't know what to do anymore I really don't I everything about this is like completely out of my depth I'm the guy that runs on on root on on roof on rooftops and throw smoke bombs and <laughs> punches folks. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have put y'all in this this posi 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 position by asking y'all to be on the team because I clear clearly cannot do what I need to do. Belt. I don't want to interrupt you. You can. No, no, it's okay. It'll stop. Um, 
No, I just, I don't, I know that we are a ragtag team, but this team is the best thing that ever happened to me. And it's the only thing I have left. So as much as you may be thinking you're not doing a good job because we aren't necessarily, um, we haven't necessarily been um, succeeding at this mission, or at least it feels like we aren't. You've done more for me than almost anyone else. And that goes to you too, Saskia. Both of you. Because without you guys, I wouldn't have this. Then I shove more chicken nuggets into my <laughs> frosting and eat it. Just about that time the doorbell rings. Oh. What a sleep. Not it. I'm gonna buzz the intercoms and just say like, look, I don't know how you found this place, but now is not the best time for the shit. Go away. You don't reply back. Sound like you had a rough night. I wouldn't normally be here. It's Rocky's voice. But I found an old friend of yours. I figured I'd drop him off. I run Rocky? to the front door. And you open the door, and there, there's Rocky in like his heavy overcoat, um, the branded T-shirt, walking cane, pants, slacks. Um, he looks all right, decent mood. Um, Rocky, come eyes. on in. We have so many chicken nuggets. <laughs> okay, but standing next to him. Um, in their full gear is Rune. Um, um, I think I think Strider just drops his McFreeze on the ground and just stares dumbstruck at Rune. to see you old friend and i think that's where we're going to take our break ladies and gents go get yourself a nuggy centurion or two a mcflurry or four um whatever it is your 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 beverage and snack of choice um we will be right back with more masks advanced studies see you soon Welcome, mortals, to Morning Ritual. Welcome to Upon These Crystals is playing Beyond the Twilight Road. And welcome to Forest and Flame on the Critical Misses channel. <laughs> welcome to another episode of King's Guard. A six-part miniseries titled The Growing of the Dim. I would like to cast Witch Bolt on her. Yeah, if we're, can I make six attacks against her? <laughs> it's a thing. I do believe some people wanted to do some goblin blood shots. Oh no. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, yeah, we did want to do that. It looks like your plan is half baked. Uh, yeah!
<laughs> in between one of the one of the quacks, I'll just get like really loud and just say, "Run." <laughs> in the town of Habisher, there are always exciting going ons amongst the members of society, and the spring of eighteen eighteen is no exception. Rumors are everywhere, and scandal is never more than a moment away. But true love might just be around the corner. How might the past change one's future? Which is stronger, the head or the heart? And who will find their happily ever after? Queer Society on the Critical Misses channel. Festivities begin each Wednesday at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. Shop. Don't be late. That was not a smooth transition, but hey, we're live. <laughs> <laughs> That's the mood today. That is the mood today. Oh! Sometimes sometimes you need a girl. I got my I got Let's my click crack go! bag. God damn it, Noir. Thank yes. you all for having me. And I'm glad I was on uh before Bria because there's no way to follow her, so it's good. <laughs> garlic smells it tastes like ass. Will you show me an ass that tastes like garlic and I'm gonna find myself a new partner. No! <laughs> <laughs> Summer of a Bria. You could make someone cry over like Romeo and Juliet, or I could make them cry with a story about a werewolf giving a blowjob. And if I could do that, if I could do that, that's a trick to pull off. Today, your PSA is that when you watch streamers, content creators, YouTubers, influencers, you do not actually know them. You may know their name. You may know facts about them. You do not know them. This is your PSA to not be over familiar. Thank you and have a good day. Oh, and that's kind of why, you know, I'm trying to be as unapologetic as possible is because I'm trying to be the person that I needed back when I was growing up. I'm starting, uh, I'm starting Game, game, game. <laughs> game, game. <laughs> game, game. Game, game um, starts here and it's that game is an actual fake creature uh, and they're just messing with us. A new IP comes out that's perfect for you, mm. right? But in, the, in order for this to exist, we have to get rid of another IP. And whichever IP you replace it with, that's how big it gets. Star Wars. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one motherfucking thing. If you're in Australia, go fuck yourself. Australia. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I'm picking a fight with the entire goddamn <laughs> continent of Australia. So, Go uh, fuck yourself, uh, tune mate. in for October 24th, uh, our show where we have Wasabate, uh, <laughs> who is in fact Australian, and has promised us one authentic good day. You know what? If your uh -oh. name is Liam O'Brien, go fuck yourself too. It's hands for you on site, Caleb. <laughs> Damn. So what do you want to do about it? Do you want to play this game with me? Or do you want to forfeit? I don't really think you can keep up with me. But I'd love to see you try. Darling. Hey, my Brooke Anita! <laughs> my co-host, my co-host has been murdered. You just gotta lie a lot and have one solid apology at the end. And then that is the secret to young justice working every time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that is a Thieves Guild's mantra. <laughs> lie longer, lie better. <laughs> Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> the Anita quite literally said, um, Noir knows him. <laughs> like, yes. And I was and I was like, Cosign. All right, welcome aboard. <laughs> like, let's, I was like, that is enough for me. Noir knows and likes this person. You, well, we can always make the respect women juice flat, you know, so you can have it wherever you go. Uh, I'm already working on putting it on a mug. Excellent. <laughs> Next, you need shot glasses. Mm -hmm. 
just you know just take a quick shot of respect women juice yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, where where am i where am i in the that guy segment did you just black out for a little bit i was so busy fighting that everything just went red for a second <laughs> you cannot right. do what i do like at all but right. i can't do what you do and no one can tell your story. No one can sing your song but you. I always thought, like, I always realized, like, Critical Misses. It's just like, you know, it's a femme focus channel and, you know, the critical, okay, haha. And then I was like, wait a second. When you roll a one, that's a critical miss. It <laughs> just get the pun. So many yes, yes, I get just the pun. got the pun. I just got the pun.
Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to Critical Misses. And welcome back to Masks Advanced Studies. Uh, our heroes just escaped the House of Mysteries and are, are in their, their feelings and some nuggies as two individuals appeared on their doorstep. Uh, Rocky uh, from the arcade, an old old friend and a friend long since missing, at least for one of our heroes, Strider, as Rune, a former compatriot, walks into their base. So. Tiras? I see. What? Tiras? Yeah, it's me. He just walks up, just like, "Shit, you've grown." You have it. And you see, just like his eyes are starting to like tear up, and it's like, "Ah, it's good to, it's good to see." You. And he just hugs him. At, at first, there's there's some hesitance there, as it's just the crushing of of years of of a lack of understanding of realization of time, and then it all comes catching up, and then the, the hug back is as firm as you are hugging. You son of a bitch. <laughs> How have you been? I... I, 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 went, I went my own way. Things, things got bad after that night. Things got bad fast. And I, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know what happened. I thought I was dead. We all did. And I oh, even tried and I just I couldn't Hey, look at me. I know you. You would have tried your best. I'm just glad you're here. You weren't any other place. Even with with all I'm, I'm better at it now, but even still, you were, you were nowhere to be found. I don't know. You were always pretty, pretty, pretty good at the whole spell sling, sling, sling thing. Last time I saw you, you were blasting for, 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 Y'all, and he just kind of like looks to the others. This is this is a room. <laughs> one one I, of my best friends. I'm glad you're here. Chicken nugget. Sure. We have plenty. I I still don't mix with Switzerland. Mm -hmm. That's an accomplishment, as he takes the nugget. Yeah. So, what I felt was legit then. 
What do you mean? What do you felt? I felt the ferryman come to the base. That we've had a weird forty-eight hours. <laughs> no kidding. The ferryman doesn't just show up for anybody. I think he's f fighting Queen Mab right now. And he less showed up and more we stumbled upon him. We went to, uh, to, to, uh, to Avalon for a bit. The ferryman's still a good boy. Oh, um, Rocky, I'm sorry about the possum. It's now in Avalon the size of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Uh, be I wonder who the little bugger went off to, but that, that, that explains some things. He also can talk now. Yeah. Uh, Seems pretty pissed off. I'm not gonna lie. And also kill things. people. Yeah. He can, he's like good with a sword and he wears armor and to be honest, I actually think we might have given him like a sense of purpose, like maybe even a better life. So Yeah. Um he's one of Titania's knights, kind of. It's a You know how she feels about animal people, so I leave that magic stuff to the rest of y'all. I'll I'll keep with the super scientist. That makes a lot more sense. Probably. Hey, Rocky. And I'll take a running freeze ray. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take a freeze ray any day over a, a fake queen's giant, giant possums. <laughs> but we're going to miss yeah. the little guy. I don't think you can miss him anymore. You made him that big. Yeah. But you're gonna like you're not gonna have the possum in the in the alley anymore. We need to find you a new friend. Oh no! Someone already decided to make themselves quite well known. There is now a very large raccoon who is lording over <gasps> the 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 bins now, and is quite demanding, almost like. I don't know. I feel like the raccoon has possibly mafioso tendencies. But how does one personify that in a raccoon? I, I, it's a thing. I feel like we need to teach the raccoon to be more of a menace. I'm going back Carla... to I don't need to. Nope, nope. That's just not quite necessary, Loki. That's, uh, I, <laughs> I think they're doing fine enough. <laughs> Starla doesn't exactly know where this raccoon comes from, but does narrow their eyes at Loki because they do have a feeling. I've not seen the raccoon yet. Hey, listen. I I I, I, I whisper, I whisper to Loki, hey, listen. I got the possum, you got the raccoon, it's even. I want to teach the raccoon to shoot guns. Oh my god, like from Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's perfect. We, oh my god, yes. I'm good at with a bow and arrow, too. So, like, like I can cool teach aiming. That? Yeah. And okay, we've got to schedule out paid. time for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Well, okay, I'll get back with you. Yeah. Um... Yeah, Rocky, oh my God, this is, it's incredible to have you here. And it's also um, a raccoon. I love it. Has, yeah. he, has he told you a name? Uh, sh she has not informed me of a title yet, but um, I, 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 I haven't honestly been asking. And you all look like you've had a hell of a night. You could say that again. Maybe. Okay, well. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the arcade. I'll keep keep the lights on if you guys need. Hey Rocky. Yeah. Thanks. 
How are you there, kids? You're doing good. It may not look like it. it. May not feel like it. But you're all doing good. And he heads out. And Rune just sort of come, comes closer to you, Scott. You don't stumble on the ferryman. You know, we deal with this team. What did you all get into? Well, it's like... You might want to sit down for this. Also kind of stumbled into consumption, so... We're doing great. Yeah. And I... I think Stry, Stry, Strider would give Rune like the whole run, uh, rundown, like the past few days. In the past few days, I've been to two different countries and two different dimensions. I think I lost count. Okay, okay. This is. Yeah, it's a lot. This is some watchtower levels of of messed up. Um, Are you hungry? I I hand I I hand a chicken nugget to them. I I, I appreciate. There's like a hundred in front of me. Oh no, we yeah. really need you to eat some of them. It's kind we can of take some to the raccoon. It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. I will. I will try my best, but I'm still just reeling over okay so there's an instability to space co- time continuum which is affecting mm-hmm. magic which is amplifying certain things and weakening others you went to two of the big houses survived the ferryman now has more of his personality back you know mab is still in charge of the house of mystery but that's now up in the air as the two of them are warring over it there's a giant possum rampaging through avalon and you there's a guy that can mess with time and space yeah oh, and has no. apparently been kidnapping folks yeah i sent him to avalon i think i sent him to some dimension i'm guessing avalon everything seems to end up there So the time manipulator is now possibly just randomly in Avalon and you haven't seen or heard from him since. Yeah. Yeah. But no, but no, but no, but no, but knowing what we know, we know, we know about this guy, it's going to just slow him down, not just keep him there. Fuck that coyote. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. we are in over our heads. Yeah, we're out. We're we're out. We're out of our death in this one. Considering how much is just, it's not just even been you going out of your way. It's just been directed at you. Just trying to understand because we're dealing with with some cosmological heavy hitters here and like again this is watchtower level stuff so why y'all well if it's if this person has to do with time we know that strider has been affected by that we know that loki has effect over the dimensions that just kind of that's the connection there i just don't i mean no one else is here there's still a few few capes in empire state yeah Yeah. veils here probably good she's helping with you Styler, you got taken by the coyote. You got out of the coyote. So did the supervillain 
guy. I don't know his name. I don't pay attention to their names. You mean, um, um, boomerang guy? The one with all the inventions. The one that... Oh, yeah, um, I did also may have <laughs> accidentally been the cause of... You mean Baron going Schmutz? Yeah. Okay. Um, kind Baron's of... Baron's missing. Are you yeah. referring to Mind, who you escaped with, Starla? Um, no. Yeah, you the You mentioned AI. a super villain, and the only villain I, that I think I fought in the in the in the prison cells, which is I think what we're talking about, um, was the boomerang guy. I oh, forget boom. what his name was. Doomaru. Doomaru. Oh, the was kangaroo. The only villain I ran yeah. into. I was meaning I was meaning the Baron because yeah. we still have his one of his doomsday devices. Nope. Somewhere in the dimensions fucking around. Yeah, yeah. And we need him to turn it off. But we're not bringing it back here until I set it to another dimension, as I do. Um, because that was when the, the other two, safe and sound, had stolen it. I got it off of them, it activated, I freaked out, sent it to another dimension. And then timey wimey bullshit started, and the Baron said he could fix it. And then Wiley the Coyote decided to be a dick and kidnapped him and stole all of his inventions. Um, so we still need to get the Baron back to turn that device off and hopefully stop some of the time bullshit that's going on. Maybe. Just like old times, huh, Rune? <laughs> old times usually involved far less time and space math. True. Far more simple. I cannot do this math to save, literally save my life. And you know me, I'm more the street guy. Well, that I can't relate to. <laughs> Trust me, I get it. I mean... I throw some chicken at her. <laughs> or the, at them, sorry. Sorry, them. If, if Jessamine were here, I mean, we might have a shot, but she's bought, gone blink cold for almost over a year. Wait, so you know what happened to the others? Vale hasn't told me anything. I've been cooped up in here for months. I've not necessarily kept in touch, but I try to keep tabs. Um, Jessamine went late dark a year ago. She was... Prometheus? Oh, sorry. Um, she, she was doing stuff, but then hasn't haven't heard any peeps from her on the web for the other year. Um, Prometheus, Andy, um, went off to help with most of the art capes doing this multi-dimensional tear thing. Is he with with watch what uh with he watch tower now? I know that that he that he that he was huge and in, like into the idea. Uh, he really wanted to, but at best, he's a probationary member. Damn. And Again, it, it, it's it's Andy. I tries his best, but at the same time, they're hitting at a they're hitting at a power level, and they have to think very fast. And he doesn't have you to follow. Well, based on my performance the past few days that that that's a good thing cut yourself some slack you're doing this stuff without how, having a safety net real strider it's not like any of us could have done any better you're, you're probably doing the best out of any of us could have done you didn't mention clara as he looks at room 
Is she okay? Clara didn't handle your disappearance well. None of us did, but Clara specifically. She, uh, she switched sides and has been working on and off with the corporation since you disappeared. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Clara, Clara hated the core. What is Clara's superhero name? Or I guess villain? It's whiplash. But she's not, oh, there's no Clara way that she would be is... a bad guy. There's no way. Um, Strider, I have some bad news for you. She absolutely is. I'm sorry. I... There's... <laughs> I think... He's different now. No, she was... She's the sweetest, nicest, kindest person I have ever met. She did There's... take it well. Scott, she didn't. What happened? Then I don't know exactly what happened. Here's what I do know. Is that one day she started taking jobs with the corpse and it became more and more frequent as time went on. I don't know, maybe she was in a bad spot. I never really asked her. I didn't see the point. Strider, if you want to see her, I might be able to get in contact with her. I, I suggest against it. I mean, She's... me too, but... What do you mean? She, she was... Your friend too, Rune. How many times has she she saved her ass? She's different now, Scott. Much different. Well, maybe. Maybe if she saw that Strider was all right, maybe. She's. She hasn't been stable, and I don't just mean that mentally. She hasn't been stable since the incident. You mean her pow powers, her speed? It's been fluctuating ever since. This is my fault. I it's I should have been here. Ryder, I... it's not your fault. If it's anyone's fault, it's the corporation's fault. I should have reached out sooner. I shouldn't have listened to Vale. Like, Vale was just trying to keep you safe. She always has. Like, as much as her message... Do you see this place? This used to be our home, and now, now it's... We all didn't handle it. didn't like we should have come together after he went missing but we didn't it was immediately pointing fingers and it it did not it did not end well y'all had a fight I tried to leave the base in as best a condition as I could. This place was a war zone when, when Andy and Clara loved it. Always did butt heads. Ugh. 
This is so like, fucked. <laughs> I'm just glad you didn't see it, but I'm... There's, there's too much happening, and there's too much for it to be happenstance. Again, you guys... You guys are alive, and you saw the ferryman. No yeah. one alive is supposed to see that guy. Ever. Like, cosmic rule sort of ever. Hey, you know what? I've always been a bit of a rule breaker. He also saved our asses from Queen Mab. So, I mean... I think he likes us. Yeah. We might be immortal now. I wouldn't go that far. There's only one way to test it. Well, no. That's not. No. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, all for on, jumping. guys. I'm joking. <laughs> oh. I have an idea for oh. after. Cool, 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 oh, cool, yeah. cool. So... Clara is a supervillain. Yeah. Half the team is scattered. Yeah. All the capes are gone. And most part, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. I'm going to think. I'm going to think. I'm going to think. You're good. You know, at like... that. Okay, so. And I roll and assess the situation. By all means, please do. As he just like starts to go into the zone. Oh my god. Full hit. Full hit. Okay, you're rolling really well today. So off our menu. You get, um, you get to ask two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, gotcha. Well, let me pull that up real quick. Sorry, I don't have the... It's all right. Um, for our audience, our list is, what here can I use to blank? What here is the biggest threat? What here is in the greatest danger? Who here is most vulnerable to me? How could we best end this quickly? Hmm. And I guess this is more just a broad thing for this as I'm trying to think. So we got some time shit going on. Mm -hmm. What Wiley is stealing people and and doomsday devices and he's planning something. I'm sorry, I'm thinking. Oh, no, we had to fight with the vampire. Yeah, Sanguine. She was yeah, she's a, she's a real piece of work. Starla, you were at yes. his prison, right? Yeah, I guess. I didn't leave it in the same condition I found it in. That's for sure. <laughs> what did you do? Oh... Oh, we haven't really gotten the chance to talk about this, have we? No. Um, what did you do? Okay, so I want to defend myself a little bit first. And first, I'd like to say all I knew was that I'd gotten kidnapped by someone who was probably evil because I'm not evil. Um, and that I needed to get out quickly because I didn't know if you guys were in danger. And I also, like, I wasn't sure if they'd be coming to get me really soon. So I did release all the prisoners at once. <laughs> oh, we're <laughs> fucked. So, and I, no, and no, no, some no. of them were villains and some of them were um, um, evil hell carriages. So... But some of them were probably heroes. I don't know if I saw any, but there were probably some. Well, Overdrive would have been there. Overdrive? 
You mean Overdrive was, oh my God. I didn't see Overdrive at all. If I had known, I would have. It's not your fault. Strider starts idea. getting a big smile on his face. I've, I've also got an idea. I would love to hear this idea. First, I want to ask the two okay. questions. So, in regards to what we know, we already know that Wiley is probably the biggest threat. So, I'm not going to ask that. Um, who here is most vulnerable to me? Within the grand scheme of things? Yeah. Um, of of the players on the field that are mm -hmm. in opposition. Mm -hmm. You have a feeling that Clara is somehow tied to all this, and she is the one that's most vulnerable to you. Okay. And I don't want to ask how best we can end, end this quickly, because that feels... It's always one more step closer mm -hmm. because uh, I the thing I love about this game is the questions are broad enough gotcha. that I give you stuff but I mm -hmm. don't give you everything then I then I will ask how could we best end this quickly you need to find individuals you either need to find Clara and bring her on side or you need to find out what happened to Wiley in Avalon. Starla. Yeah. How are you with breaking into prisons? Well, apparently I don't have to break in. People just put me in them. But if I can break out of them, I can probably break into them. It is an intermittent dimensional prison, though. Well, you can handle the dimension part. I'll handle the prison part. So here's my idea, right? And he kind of leans down and thinks, if Wiley wanted the people in the prison gone, I'm pretty sure he would have killed them, right? Like, why would you ha risk them being around so he's holding them for something? Hmm. So, and not only that, I think the weapons might be there. Because it makes sense to hold them all at the same spot, right? You don't want to go to, mul to, mul to multiple spots to do whatever villain crap you want, right? Maybe. I mean, even if the weapons aren't there, it's not a bad place to check, for sure. And all I know is there are a lot of pissed off folks that are probably looking... To try revenge? to fuck him up. Yeah. Uh, revenge. Now we're speaking my language. All right. And Loki. I know I know you're good with poor with poor with poor with uh with poor with poor with poor with poor with portals. But how do you feel about mayhem? I'm all for it, obviously. Um, I saw, honestly found I'm not even Loki, and I was insulted by that question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just my idea. So we break in and fuck up his shit. I was thinking break in and bring out the cavalry. You know what, Strider? You say you're not good at leading a team, but you are excellent at finding out our strengths and using them. Fucking shit up is exactly what we do. Yeah. 
Um, We're going to need somebody for this, though. And he looks to Roan. And I gives can, him, you know, I his Clara. Really... <sighs> We're going to need her. She's an inside. We have to try. I can get you to your location. But if you want Clara... Last I know of her location. She was up in the northwest Paradise City. Working on a corp contract, something about absconding with uh, Aegis Vault of liberating some alien tech. Sounds like it could be connecting y'all. I'm all for this. I'm like super it. all in, absolutely. Maroon, if you can get, get get us there, we'll take it from there. So Paradise City? Yeah. I think me and the Breakers have some stuff to work on. Ooh, a smile. is that our team name? I like it. It's pretty consistent with what we do. We break reality. <laughs> break mm. people out, out of prison. Yes. All hell has broken loose. All yeah. right. <laughs> um, before we go, uh, before we go off, because they're in a safe place ish, um, could Loki go with their out of this world? Sure. And try and get another. Um... Redensing something? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and give yeah. that a roll. Yay! So that's freak. Hey, that's a full hit. So, you can shift your labels to match the understanding that you gain from this. Uh, you get an interesting insight into your current problems and situation. Okay, so in, in the quiet, as you are all agreeing things, and you have this slowly descending pile of nugs um, and, and comfort food, that is slowly being depleted over the course of panels. Um, as the three of you are counting things to room, bringing him up to speed, bringing yourselves all back up to speed. Um, there are a few things that sort of stick out in that chaotic moment. One. That prison? Starla pressed the all release button. So whoever's there, if they're still alive and haven't escaped to who knows where, um, they're probably still seeking shelter in that base. But it's going to be a minefield between good and bad. Um, but the other thing that sticks out as like Strider's focusing on Whiplash on Clara, who you know is a speedster, and all this interdimensional instability, the device, your own powers, the the fact that Rune made a point that things are happening that should not be happening. you begin to possibly understand Wiley's motivation. You begin to understand that what he wants is to break some cosmic rule. 
Something that was set in stone, he is trying to defy. That's the only way this all makes sense. And he is specifically setting things up in motion, removing pieces from the field, reapplying them when it suits him to try and cause multiversal instability. How would, how would you benefit from multiversal instability? We need to put everyone back. In the plane there, I mean, dimension they're supposed to be in? Dimension, time, all of it. Wait, what, no, what do you mean? Do we need to send Strider back? If we have to do that, do we need to send Strider back? It's gonna get fucky. More so than already. But we've broken cosmic laws. We've already done what Wiley's trying to do. But which cosmic law is he trying to break? Do you think he's trying to remake everything? Wouldn't put it past him. So, everyone in that prison has been taken out because they're a threat to the to his plan. If we put all of them back where they're supposed to be, it's going to take a lot of shit, but it might work. But why was I a threat to his plan, but you guys weren't? He could have just as easily taken you as well, Loki. He has very poor judgment. And locking someone with interdimensional powers inside their own miniature dimension doesn't usually work well. I guess he thought... He could tame me easier, but was he wrong? What was that friend that you brought out with you? Mind? Yeah, where's Mind? Is Mind still at the House of Secrets? As thunder just struck here at my house. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we, we, we turn the page and we see where Mind is. His mind was at the House of Secrets. And we see a panel of mind and Julia. So, Julian, are you going to let me loose? My good friend, mind. You know that the very things that make up your body, circuitry, and everything else is, by its very nature, in defiance to all this house stands for. So I'm taking that as a no. I think you'll find your current accommodations will be more than fine. I'm going to try and break out, Julian. Oh, I know. Good luck. I better tell Mind not to mess with skinny Julian. Magic versus a AI. Who will win? Dun, 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 dun. Also, we need to tell Julian that his protege isn't dead. Doesn't he think his protege is dead? Oh, shit. His his protege is the the ferryman. His his oh my god, his protege isn't <laughs> dead. His protege is death. Um let's I'm gonna look to Roan to see his rea reaction to this. <laughs> Do we we have, don't like... we didn't just meet the ferryman. We know the ferryman's like backstory. Rune looks very disturbed. <laughs> Um, like, okay, like, th 
this, this, like he, runes has, has the look of this is all bad like there, there there there's there's the things that we can deal with bad and then there's just this is bad <laughs> does the house of secrets have a landline <laughs> I was thinking. Does it have a number? Um, um, can I call the landline? Put him on speaker. The room, room, room goes, there is a landline. Unless the house five, wants five, you to... Five. No, no. The, for a long time, the, the house's keeper, um, up until a certain song happened, was named Jenny. And her number is eight six seven five three zero nine. Can I really? call and try to provoke really, the room? house into answering me? Can I'm gonna just start a start to rip. I'm I'm just I gonna start to rip the room. house so I can call. Um, I just want to provoke. I don't know if this is possible. I want to through a landline <laughs> provoke like, the house. In order to get in contact with Julian, if you don't allow this, I will understand. Oh, by all means, please provoke the House of Secrets. Listen, provoke I someone. Well. Make a provoke, <laughs> provoke someone rule. This is only I'm absolutely ever done going well. to do that. Okay, Good provoke one, someone. For provoke someone, I That's roll superior. superior. I look to Rune and just like, really? A song? He's all this mystical stuff you're always going on, on, on about, and there, there's a, really. It. Oh my God! I got a nine. So, but provoke someone that means it doesn't necessarily do precisely what you want. But can I gain influence over the house? I get to choose. Oh, you get to choose. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so this is the point where the game allows me to completely fuck with y'all. And in order to hold up my standing in the eyes of my peers, I'm going to fuck with y'all. So okay, I'm ready. You get a My critical... body is ready. DM <laughs> respect. DM <laughs> respect. You get a critical opportunity. The phone rings. But it's not Julian who picks up. Uh... House of Mystery, Mythos speaking. How may I help you? Oh, I got I'm gonna push the up. speaker I button. Kind of mixed up. Oh yeah, I'm push the speaker, speaker button. <laughs> speaker, speaker. I don't know if landlines have a speaker button. Your phone would, or your lipstick your, would. Your your stuff My is lipstick more modern. has a speaker button. <laughs> Mythos, House of Secrets speaking, House of Mystery speaking. How may I help you? Um, hello. Could you transfer me to the House of Secrets, please? May I ask who's calling? I mean, you can ask. <laughs> um, hi. A my name friend? is. I'm. Um. Well, we have some very. We have some news. That skinny Julian would love love to know like it's true it's very good news and we think that it would be important for julian you guys are looking at me like i am talking nonsense and i understand that but i need we to have stop news. <laughs> yeah i'm just like what what is she going for they sorry they're they're <laughs> they they going for. here um strider you're better with words than me <laughs> Um, hello, Mythos, uh, Strider here, um, uh, I'm with Loki and the Mark, uh, and Rune, uh, it's nice to meet you, I'm sorry, this is, hold on, quick, quick thing, 
out of character. What are we trying to do to do with this guy? We're trying we're to just get trying Julian. To... So okay. then we're... Julian can find out who um, about his uh, protege. Okay. We're we're just trying to connect with Jewel with, Jul with Julian because we can you please transfer have inform us? We have information about his pro his pro his protege. He'll probably want. And if you are looking for a trade, we still have about 450 chicken nuggets that you can have. You can YouTube, have them anyway. YouTube, is this you pranking me again? Uh, no. I... Uh, Loki sends some chicken nuggets through in a dimension portal to, to Mythos. I get want half to see you front. try. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> give give half up front and we can give the other half later. What is happening? After the information has been given. Good business. Good business. I I have I have given you a very specific hint that hasn't caught on. I am okay. happy about this. Okay. Um, <laughs> Wait. And... Alright, so so we have okay, hold on. We have a crit a critical moment. Dude's name is is Mythos. And this is the House of Mysteries. I'm What's trying to think of what the connection is here that we could use. Um, do I know Mythos? Do Have I heard I of him? Know Mythos. Name was mentioned already this episode. Should have been taking Mythos notes. Mythos the Magician? No, that's just myth. There, there's myth and then there's mythos would my character remember when his name was brought up roll superior okay come on please okay it's a hit again you're speaking to someone who is probably a keeper of the house of mystery before map and oh and, and we were in the house of, of mysteries. mysteries hey mythos um also sorry it's completely forgot about this um queen mab and the ferryman i think are ha are, ha are having a fight in your basement Tube, I am almost certain this is you. I, I just can't. I turn on the voice, the the, like, 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 like the um. If there's, I look. I don't know if like, there's this landline has like a like a, like a screen that we could turn on. No. No. It's like, Froon, back me up here. First of all, I just want to say not all of us can be tube. I just want to poke a hole in your logic there. We have different voices. Not all of us can be two. We are not two. We are the breakers. And we just want to let... Do, hey, here's a question. If you don't want to transfer us to the House of Secrets, okay, cool, fine. But do you have the ability to get in touch with Julian and let Julian know that his... Protégé is not dead. He's of the course ferryman. I'm not dead. And the ferryman what? isn't a thing. Wait. What? Yeah, this is when are we calling? No. Where are we calling? Wait, no, 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 no. He just said that he's not dead. Yeah. And the he's ferryman. Not the ferryman yet. Oh my god, Loki, you're a genius. Holy shit. We're calling the wrong time. Hey, Mi look, um... Mi Mythos. This is gonna sound really fucking weird, all right? And, but I, I need you to trust us. Um, I think we're calling from a different time, and it's a time where you have become the fair, the fair, the fair, the fair, the fair, the, fair, the ferryman. 
Do you know someone called Wakan? Uh, wa 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 Wiley. Wiley's a uh, undergraduate at a hero university in Ohio. No, don't kill him. Don't if don't. I'm gonna second that. If you can kill him, I highly suggest. <laughs> no, we're not. Kill we're not people. killing people. It's it's both at the same time. <laughs> Myth, all right, mythos. <laughs> and and I'm just gonna divulge what's been going on to him, and see what his reaction is to all this. While Strider is doing that, me and Loki are laughing so hard in the background. <laughs> And Loki is genuinely trying to get right. these chicken nuggets sent okay. through. And some McFlurries. Gotta, gotta share the McFlurries. Yeah. I tell him Not that I used M &M to be Not the M&M ones, though. I like okay. the M&M ones. And like the Reese's ones. Okay, so you're going to tell him that you used to be Spotlight. Yeah. And uh, you're going to tr try and defy space and time, Loki, and send <laughs> him nugs. Um, yeah. I cannot believe that this is a different time can that we're calling I, right I, now, but um, that makes sense. Can I, can I try to pierce the mask? Would that oh, be? Oh, by all means, try. Would that be useful? I don't know if it'd be useful. Do you guys it, think it'd be useful to ask some of those questions? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Listen. Okay. So I'm trying roll to roll name. more. Let's mark that potential, baby. <laughs> Okay. So close to a level up. <laughs> so you, you, you try to pierce the mask. It's kind of hard to over the phone through space and time. Um, so, yeah, no, uh, this uh, Arthur Addison in this space, in this time, um, one, still think he's being prank called. Two, for some apparent reason, probably teachings from somebody else, he is letting the call go on. He hasn't hung up on you yet, <laughs> even though he is certain that you're pranking. Um, what and... do I know about Arthur? I can prove that we're... The, the difficult thing is you don't know precisely when you're talking to him. Yeah. Because there are a few things known about Arthur Addison, but until you know precisely when you're talking to him, what you know may be before this this Arthur's time, or after, much after. Um, Arthur, just bear with me. What year is it where you are right now? It's 1991. That was before most of us were born. Okay. Um, Invest in Apple. Apple's going to be That's big, but me. yeah. Um, and in uh, the next. In Apple and Google. Yeah. And when it comes around, Zoom immediately. Oh, and anything that's small, like screws, because screws are used in everything. Okay, I'm sorry, Strider, you're trying to do... No, 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 you're, no, no, you're okay. You're okay. Um, I'm just trying, trying to think of how we're supposed to, like, use this to our advantage. Um, I'm just like, look, Wiley is trying to fuck with time and space. He's trying to break some sort of rule. We don't know what. And I already know that this is like messing with time and space and all that crap, but it's already fucked right now. We might need your help. Main reason one would fuck with time and space is because they have someone that they care about. When in doubt, the motivation for pretty much every single greatest atrocity is because somebody loved someone or didn't love them enough. 
Hell, Hell Warden Rule 109. Love is the greatest enemy. Um, Mythos, I just want to say, you don't know what this is for yet, but thank you. Um, do you still want Nuggies? No, I'm pretty sure my team's coming back, and if that's the case, I'm going to get chocolate cake. Yeah, but... Okay. You can have chocolate cake. I can also send McFlurries. So you've got ice cream and chocolate cake. No, no. Martha and... needs the best chocolate cake. I do not need, need to insult the culinary greatness with McDonald's ice cream. Um, okay. We can have different opinions. Um, it's also not McDonald's. This one's special. This is McSwitzerland. Oh, is McSwitzerland not a thing yet? Probably not. I was the one that fucked up and made it. Didn't make that, it. You know what? Yeah. One. I forget that it didn't always exist, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to be asking useful questions. Um, <laughs> um, um, so, I have a question that might, might help. How likely is it if I accidentally send someone to Avalon the, um, a second time that they would also end up as Titania's bitch? And how likely am I to be able to get them away from being Titania's bitch so that then we can fix the fact that they were trying to break cosmic rules of the cosmos? If Titania has sunk her claws into somebody, you're going to have a hell of a time getting them loose. Yeah. I mean, you would need to either trade with the queen, which is never a good idea. The queen always wins. Or... You are going to have to. Oh, I hate saying this. Oh, that that that's vomit. Okay, okay. Bring it back. Bring it back, Arthur. Um, you're going to have to go to Avalon, and you're going to have to get Morgan Le Fay's help. As much as Titania's queen of the Fay, Morgan's the queen of Avalon. And so, even though Titania has a lot of oomph. Morgan's got a home field advantage. Morgana is not to be trusted, but if you can get her to agree to something and give you help, that's your best bet. Okay, how pissed would Morgana be about us accidentally unleashing a Stay Posh Marshmallow Man-sized possum in Avalon? Depends. If you can tame the possum, not so much. Possum is just rampaging, quite, quite upset. The a, possum... a scale of one to ten, I would say, ten point seven. I wouldn't the say it's rampaging. Was Titania's what? Pet. Oh, so you mutated Titania's pet and sent it back. I didn't mean to Guys, send it back. I have an idea. Somewhere else. Can we idea. give Wiley donkey ears and a tail. Oh, we Pinocchio? sent him to Titania. We, well, what did they just ar- say? It's hard to get things back. Well, he's already there. Is the issue? Yeah. So give him donkey ears and a um, tail through a different dimension. Apparently, I'm very good at sending things to Avalon and not many other places. Shit. May Are you have part fae? Time device there. Ah, but I should never send anything to Avalon. Not, I, not even Express. Um, I didn't mean it. I know this is a lot, Arthur, but you know a Wiley, right? I know of one. 
I don't suppose you would know who he he would love. I just know that at the time he was part of a hero program in Ohio that's trying to churn out teams. So that's You know who's on his that. team? Uh not precisely. It's not like I have their school ledger right in front of me. Okay, well Start I didn't ask if you had the school ledger right under you. I'll just ask Strider, your files. Uh, probably knowing you, 1991 to 1995, Ohio Hero Schools, if we look through them, we will find the graduating class. I mean, if we I find certainly... the graduating class, we might be able to find his team. Mythos, oh. Strider is good with wonderful. files. Wonderful. I'm going to pull up the screen and start seeing if Vale has anything on this in the search range. Pull up the files. And Vale's files are exceptionally thorough. Mm -hmm. The files from 91 to 95 are specifically corrupted. That's weird. Why? Paper files. Papers, right? Papers, papers. I've still, I've still got those. And he runs over, like, to where who, the. Who has uh, access to these digital files? files Clara. Just me and Vale. Just you Don't... and Vale. Yeah, at least right and now. So, no, you, anyway. You didn't corrupt those files. Don't look at me. Well, yeah, no, I don't think you did. So, either someone somehow broke into the base and corrupted those files, which, honestly, I wouldn't put it past Wiley to be able to do that, or other option is that Vale corrupted them themselves, herself, but that doesn't, that also doesn't make a lot of sense, unless mm -hmm. there's something, I don't know. Bale's also um, very focused on different spikes in anything weird. Yeah. I'm gonna go through the pa the pa the papers. Um do I find anything from the from those years? It looks like there's a like most of them have been rifled through when you get to that that file drawer and most of them are missing but there is a few sheets left it looks like this was very much a quick smash and grab like they knew what they were grabbing but oh, this fail. Don't know precise age. I mean, she's getting. She's got some gray hairs now, right? Some people get gray hairs earlier than others. Yeah. I'm going to go through the security cameras and see if I can find any, like, disturbances or anything like that, or any, like, cut feeds. Can I? Oh, sorry. I'm just going to say, it takes you a while. Yeah. But from a few days back, like before Wiley was on your doorstep, hmm. while you guys were in class, If it was anyone else looking at the video, the blur would just be a video artifact. But you know that motion blur. Clara was in here. I go to the team. Clara was in here. 
We have to get her. Room. We're we're gonna need a a tell tell a tell a, a teleport real quick. Hey. I think you should probably hang up with your blast from the past. Right. Thanks, Mythos. Um, Sorry um, about this. <laughs> Arthur, if it's any constellate light 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 um thank you for for the help um and i know that time is really fucking weird right now but you look really good as the fair 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 the ferryman it's good luck strider stop flirting with the ferryman what i'm just saying don't flirt with you the look good in black okay thanks bye Bye. Like, just click. Ugh. Why are you two flirting with the ferryman? Am I flirting? Maybe. I don't know. I was I just saying an obje obje objective tr truth. That's all I was telling. Yeah, some people look good in black. Can we just go and try and find your ex friend that's now a bitch? Well, hold, hold, whoa, 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 hold even on. Even if I was, even if I was flirting, who wouldn't want to flirt with death? Like, come on. I'm surprised you weren't. I know he's not death yet, but like, kind of hot. We're not going to talk about You're telling this. me you don't try to romance the Grim Reaper in The Sims. That's what you're going to look at me in the eyes and tell me. I haven't played the same, so I wouldn't know. Okay, Rune just breaks the silence. So, portal to Paradise City. Please. Yes, please. You want to come along? It'll be fun. Some It'll at least again. be interesting. I, this is not going to be fun, but sure. I'll, I'll at least be there to get you guys back. Um, and Rune... I thought that was my job. He grins at him. You're for back alive. I'm the taxi driver. And pulls a piece of blue chalk from his pocket. And the air actually holds this chalk as he draws a, sets, a set of runes in the air. The air ignites in blue flame, and then the runes break apart to make a portal. That? I didn't know that making portals could look like that. Rune, you have definitely stepped up your game in the past ten years. Magic yeah, and science I... have merged more. I whisper to Loki, I do kind of prefer yours, though. I think they're cooler. Mine are a lot more free. Anyway. And that is where we'll end tonight's issue of Masks Advanced Studies. That was a lot of fun, folks. Thank you so much for being here. And now for the most important thing, which is finding out where you can follow these wonderful people and what they are up to. Um, so first off, Kayla, how are you doing, friend? Where can we find you? What are you up to? And what's the next issue of Strider? Hi, guys. I'm Kayla Bell Bel Belmont. You can find me on Twitch and on Twitter at Kale 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 Kaleidoscopes. Um, I am currently looking for uh, ri ri writing work, so if you know, know anyone, please hit me up. But I think the next issue is probably going to be with Strider mosing down like in that kind of kind of like like beetles 
picture where they're, you know, just walking down the Abbey road. road. Um, um, and it's going to be him. And, but behind him are a number of like alien goons, um, that have like black, black, uh, black, black, uh, blasters at, at, at his back, his back. Um, and I'm going to say that this particular issue is pro probably called, um, Attack of the Space Queen. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, someone who who always has some nice and brutal descriptions, whether in a fight or in a memory, is Layla. How are you doing, friend? What are you up to? Where can we find you? And what is the next issue of The Mark? Um, I am doing fantastic. Um, you guys can find me on Twitter at El Um, And also as for, and also as for what I am up to, if you are in Chicago on May 5th, First Floor Theater is opening the secretaries. And I got to dramaturge that show. So if you were into drag theater, yeah, the, like all of the characters are in drag. It's fantastic. Um, and, or even if you just like falafel, there's a falafel place next door to the theater. It's at the Den Theater. And so you can go to falafel before or after. It's like a good excuse to just eat some falafel. Um, and as for Starla's issue, I think Starla's issue is um, just them practicing the dance they have for the musical over and over again because they do not want to have the same mistake that they had in the first session they they're like i need to have this down muscle memory yeah and it's called um um dancing queen seeing a queen theme Mm -hmm. Someone who may very well be a a monarch in their own right, but a monarch of chaos is <laughs> Faye. How are you doing, friend? What are you up to? Where can we find you? And what is the next issue of Loki? I'm doing good. Um, totally not causing more problems. Um, you can find me on the three T's of the internet. Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok at uh, Almost Faye. Uh, I'm trying to get a master's finished. So that's my life just now. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's really about it. Other than that, I will hopefully be doing more um, things on Twitch because I've been absent for a while. <laughs> Um, and the next issue of Loki is basically, it's another time where Loki fucks up. However, like, this time they fuck up and basically everybody turns chibi. So this is the chibi, the chibi's, um, episode. Where everything is very cute and they pet all of the dogs. That's that that is horrific and awesome at the same time. Mm. Um again, it's one of the classic things in comics where you just go, and we're gonna have a special artist come in to do this one issue. Yeah. And that that is <laughs> that is totally that, and I am all here for it. Um and thank you all for being here for it. Whether live VOD YouTube. Uh, story is nothing without its audience. You are much part of this as we are. Thank you all so much for being here. As for my silly face, uh, I am Pope, Pope World Bell on Twitter, Pope World Bell on Twitch. I love doing all your streams. If you want to see more of me, uh, there are a number of chances throughout the week. Uh, coming up next is a double feature. Uh, as this Saturday at 4.30 p.m. Eastern over in Praxagor or Thesmophoria. I know that's a lot of letters. Follow me and get the tweet. Um, we are 
back with Starblade Battalion Memories. This is our second season, and it's not just that, folks. There are now two, count them, two Starblade shows that alternate Saturdays. You have the early one, which I am a part of, which is Starblade Battalion Memories, and then the other one, which is at 8 p.m. Eastern on the alternate Saturdays, which is Starblade Battalion Corporate Raiders. So if you want to see two sides of a Mechaton conflict, come tune in for those. Then at 9 p.m. Eastern over on Valdrianth on Saturday, uh, we are back with more episodes of Defiant, The Trail of the Dead. Uh, come see me be the most moral devil uh, as we continue on with our story of the apocalypse. And then on Monday, over on Left Love Lindy, uh, I am back in the STC for Innistrad, Fang, and Shadow. Uh, if you like the McDonald's of, of TTRPGs, which is D&D, 5e, come see me do my, my best Gothic McSwitzerland with a, a bunch of similarly chaotic players uh that just say yes and hit the big red button so uh definitely tune in for that and then this wednesday this coming wednesday at 2 p.m eastern over on follow black cats it is either our finale or uh penultimate episode of hex crawl the spy game we're not quite sure we may need another episode or it may just all be wrapped up in this as our disaster spies um, are currently in the air escaping the Cayman Islands somewhere off the coast of Florida. Um, we were attacked. Fortunately, our demolitions expert did not blow up the plane, but the plane has been hacked and um, we're off course and it has depressurized thoroughly. So we're not out of danger yet. So come see if we actually survive. And that's on Wednesday. And they'd be back here Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern for more Masks Advanced Studies. It is an absolute lovely time. And I can't wait to see what happens next. Till next time, take care of yourselves and one another. See you soon.